Happy Freedom on the Way Day, Black Eyed Peas. The topic of this video is not so much about January 1st being Happy New Year's Day, and that's the day that you're supposed to eat Black Eyed Peas. This is about the reason why black people historically would eat Black Eyed Peas along with other foods on New Year's Day. Now, this has been passed down to us when we were kids. What happened was that they would um, start off with, with a, um, a watch meet at the church. You would bring your family, you know, the kids, everybody go to the church. And you go to the church on New Year's Eve. And you stay there until the New Year come in. You're there to watch the New Year come in. And then you go home and you would eat your black eyed peas and the other things, you know, like fried chicken, candy, yam, cornbread, typical usual thing that you eat on New Year's Day, along with the greens. But contrary to what a lot of people are saying on Facebook, well, the reason why we do it was because Sherman, he burned up the crops and the, and the Southerners had nothing to eat, but they left the black eyed peas. Well, black folks was eating black eyed peas long before Sherman came along. They really did. It was the type of food that white folks in the South didn't eat. Black folks did. Of course, white folks let alone started eating black eyed peas, but it was um, the type of food that your cattle would eat. But black people were not considered to be human. So they ate whatever, including black eyed peas, you know, hog moles and chitlins, things that typically the white folks at the plantation did not eat. So when January 1st came along in 1863, the Emancipation Proclamation had been issued. Obviously, the black slaves are going to be happy with that. The white Southerners, not so much. So the question is, you know, why would black people celebrate January 1st with black eyed peas and a other, you know, along with other type of foods, it's quite obvious. It, 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 it really is obvious why they would. But it wasn't that they were celebrating it just because January 1st comes here and then, you know, it's Happy New Year. Well, black people who were slaves had seen a bunch of New Year's and they weren't, I mean, they weren't really uh, celebrating it because the New Year come in. But January 1st, finally in 1863, it was something special to them, even though they were not freed in 1863, but they had an idea that freedom was on the way. It was on the way. So they celebrated, you know, kind of like on the down low. So that was passed down to us as kids as the reason why uh, we celebrated uh, January 1st, not to see the new year come in, to go out and party, just because you, oh, happy new year. Nope. It was kind of like a, uh, freedom is on the way day. And that's what we celebrated. Now, for the black eyed peas, they were eating black eyed peas long before the war had started. They did. You know, it was the easiest thing to grow. You know, your cattle can eat it. Humans can eat it. But just that white folks thought that, no, it was not fit for human consumption. Even white folks in the South, so don't blame on the white folks in the North. White folks in the South even thought at that time, according to my great-grandparents, that it was not fit for human consumption. But black people, they thought, was not human. But that, that's what they ate. So there you have it. So whenever, uh, uh, when I hear people say Happy New Year, and I say it myself, you know, and because I'm, I'm trying to be polite. I'm just trying to be polite. But when I hear people say Happy New Year, I, I say underneath, you know, my breath, well, it's not really Happy New Year. It's supposed to be happy, getting ready to be free day, January 1st. And that's how it was um, easier for black folks to remember the Emancipation Proclamation issuance day. So when you say Happy New Year, then that rem that's a reminder, oh, that was the day that the Emancipation Proclamation, because that's the day that they started celebrating with black eyed peas that they had been eating all along. And there you have it.